don't hurt me, but I might have I might have bought in a little bit more of a gimmicky bottle. Why do you do these things? I, Why do you? No, no. <laughs> you're hooked into gimmicks quicker than anybody that no, I no, know. No. Hear me out though. The last video we did on the gimmick bottles, you know, the the little gun stopper and like all this stuff, didn't do. <laughs> they weren't very good. This one though, I only bought. I saw the press release for it and everything, and aged it. This is Jefferson's Tropics aged in humidity. Sounds like it was aged right in our backyard because it's humid here. It's terrible. I read the label, Trent, and I gotta be honest, it sounds silly. Well, we're gonna find, we're gonna find out. It said something like aged in Singapore. Yeah, I think something that's, like I that. Think, I didn't I didn't read the label. I, you know, <laughs> Jefferson is not my favorite. You know, people people a lot of people probably know that already. However, with the oceans, you know, because we had you know I had that one. Which, which voyage was that? That seventeen. Seventeen, yeah, seventeen. It was rough. It was rough. I don't think though that Jefferson's and Jefferson's Ocean are the same thing. But the regular Jefferson's I think has a different stopper. So this might be a part of Jefferson's ocean thing. I'll, I'll, I didn't research this. Well, obviously. let's just put it all out there right now because there were a couple that you bought that I thought were pretty decent. Was it 21 or 22? The ocean? One? Yeah, ocean. Those were, those were decent. And then yeah. Harry did a store pick. It was a weeded bourbon that I actually enjoyed. I bought two of them. I liked them so much. So, but, so everybody knows, I mean, I, I didn't like a lot of the oceans. I thought it was too much yeah. money. It was 80 bucks for like a $30, $40 bottle. However, there were a couple I thought were pretty good, pretty decent. But this might when be you brought them. down this Jefferson's trend, I was like, we're really doing a video on Jefferson's pop. Yes. But let's go for it. I don't know. So just so you have the, the whole kit and caboodle here, fully matured Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. This is um, aged in humidity, finished in Singapore. They don't say how long it was finished, finished in, in Singapore. Singapore. Yep. Uh, bourbon whiskey traveled to Singapore. It's like in this fancy font. Mm -hmm. And are finished in a climate of unrelenting equatorial heat and humidity before returning home. They don't say how long. Kentucky in here is pretty humid. I've never been to Singapore. I honestly don't know where that is. Well, yeah. So I, mean, I can't speak to the humidity there, but. I can imagine. It's got this really nice red core, kind of similar to the <laughs> similar to the packaging here. You know, it's okay. nice and tropical feeling. I'm up for it. You know, I'm it's up 104 for it. proof. Is that what it is? 104 okay. proof. All right. How much was this beauty? Ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. So not huh. not the worst. It's not getting up there like some of these other ones. Uh, it's not in the upper. It's not. We even hit. We didn't hit three digits with this one like the last video. So. Okay. We're good. Okay. This will be fun. I'm excited. Yeah. All right. The color is, I don't, I wish they put an age statement. You could say aged yeah. in Singapore and everything. Tell me how long it was aged in Singapore. Tell me how old this is. Sure. Because I, I don't, that's the one thing that, that, that bugs me about this. Granted, it might have been in the press release and I just didn't read. I'm not usually a reader. I get bored. Well, of course, you, you didn't give me time to research this. At all? Do we? We can we can take a quick break <laughs> if you want to research. I can pull it off of my phone. <laughs> I have to say I'm not I'm not opposed to the aromas that's coming out of the glass. It's kind of fruity. It is, and I I'm I'm good with it. I mean, really, it, it's it's the nose on here is quite pleasant. I'm I gotta say I'm a little I mean, surprised. Me too. I mean, it, it's it's truly quite pleasant. Trent's right, quite fruity. A little bit of caramel. A little bit of caramel sweetness there. It's almost like strawberry-ish. Have we reviewed a Jefferson's product apart from like in the Regret series that we did no. uh, when we first started kind of in the bourbon scene or when you did? We haven't no. reviewed any Jefferson's products. No. So I had a few. You know, we just didn't put them on a video, but I had three or four different ones. Did you? Okay. Yeah. I wasn't really a big fan of any of them, to tell you the truth. But again, Trenton had a couple of the Ocean ones that were pretty good. And I think I still have them. Yeah. The, the nose is pleasant, I would I, say. I, I'm, I, I agree. Yeah. I can't deny that. You know, nice nice little bit of fruity note there, a little bit of light caramel. I'm, I'm a, a little, little bit of sweetness. Kind of nice. A little nervous going into the palate. Well, this could really I'm, make or break. I've at smelled. least I'm hopeful now. Now that I've been able to smell the aromas and stuff, I'm hopeful. I have smelled good things before that turn out to taste really bad. <laughs> I have to. I know you have. What would you... Oh... I gotta tell the story. Oh boy! You were I don't even know what it is. You were oh making something. You made a cocktail, and you were like, "Hmm, this tastes weird." 
and then you opened the, it was like a juice, and the juice had mold in it. I didn't catch that when right. I was mixing it. I was like, this is weird. This just tastes weird. And it, yeah, it was, uh, it went bad. So at least we were setting a high bar here, right? I mean, you can't really, if, I'm not if, it tastes, complain. if it tastes worse than it did with mold in the juice. You know, one thing you can count on me, I'm going to be honest with my personal yeah. opinions. And you that doesn't mean, I, no, I can only speak for myself, but that doesn't mean it has to be your opinions. I, I, I will be honest with mine. And so far, I think it's, it, the aromas are really nice, actually. Should we, should we do it? Yeah. All right. Full said. You guys silly? I'm still going to send it. <laughs> Got him back. Remember that one time I spit bourbon on the counter? Yeah, I got you. That's a that's an accurate way to use that. I'm surprised. Hmm. Okay. I'm not hating that. I'm really not either. I'm not hating it. I have to give it a little bit more here in a minute, but I'm not hating it. It's weird because it's it's more on like of a darker oak side, at least mm -hmm. from what I'm getting. The nose kind of smells fruity. Mm -hmm. A little light caramel, fruity, lighter on the sweetness side. But right? I, I don't get a whole lot of that on the palate. Mm -hmm. Do you? It seems a bit hot it, it for does. the proof. I will say that. It seems humid. Right off the bat. Probably because it was so hot and humid in Singapore. It's a little bit hot on the palate. The Just nose a is, little bit. The nose, <laughs> the nose is still open up. Opening, opening up quite a bit. I'll say it's actually getting better. What? I mean, I really, I'm, I really don't mind that. I really don't. There is some definite oak presence there, but it's a nice oak presence, actually, in my opinion. Okay, this reminds me quite a bit more along the notes that you might find in like a Jim Beam product where it's, and I don't know what humidity, I'm not like a scientist or anything. I don't know what humidity necessarily does to, I know what it does to me outside. It makes me want to go inside. <laughs> it's not your friend, that's for sure. No, but I don't know what it does to a barrel. So I don't know if, if the humidity is gonna exacerbate or uh, lessen the time for the oak to, or the, the liquid to go in mm. and out of an oak. I don't mm -hmm. know if like it's, if the barrel is actually sweating like okay. I do when I'm outside when it's humid. Sure. But it, it's quite, quite oaky. It is. And, and oak is predominant here, but to me, I kind of like that oak note in this particular bottle. Usually, when the oak profile is that is more dominant, I'm not a huge fan because usually when it is, it's in a bad way. Yeah. I can't say this one is. Going in again, like on a third sip, I'm starting to get some sweetness in there. Like the first couple sips I wasn't, so I was like, eh, you know, this is really just more mm. of an oak, an oak liquid. I'm still getting a little bit of the fruitiness. I get a little bit of that strawberry. I think the sweetness, Trenton, is more towards a, it's not caramel, it's not toffee. It's almost marshmallowy. Yeah. I mean, is there's something going on there that's a little bit different? Maybe a little bit of a s'mores action? Is that, is that too far outside the box? No. Kind of. Do you get chocolate? Searching. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. So I'm glad you said s'mores because what I, I was gonna I was going to suggest, I always like to give food analogies, right? Take a skewer, uh, put like a marshmallow, put a strawberry on that, and like char it over a fire for a few <laughs> seconds to eat that and then yeah. accidentally eat some of the skewer with it because you get some of that oak in there, you know? Right. It's it's honestly, I would I was expecting this to be more of a gimmicky type thing. You see, aged in humidity. Now, now, again, is it worth ninety dollars? No. That's the thing with Jeffersons. That, no. that, that's the thing that kills me with that because I, that's why I usually pass over it when I'm in the aisles of the liquor store. Is because, in my personal humble opinion, most of their whiskey is not worth the money they're trying to sell it for. So for me, that's a that's a pretty cool fifty dollar bottle though. I it will is. say that. Double it? No. I, I, I don't no. think. If you were given the opportunity to buy one, unless you really like, historically like Jefferson's products, mm -hmm. or you are trying to support the brand, I don't think that the value you get in terms of like, the flavor is there. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. But it's not as upfront 
as I would like in, in a bourbon. It, you kind of have yeah. to search for it a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, I was, I bought this fully expecting it to be bad. I, I mean, I'll just, I'll be of honest. Of course you did. You just want to put one over on the old man. That's what you wanted to do. I always, I, you like to, to find like the, the bottles nestled on the shelf that are uh, available, cheap. I do. And I I'm, do. I'm hoping to like really blow, blow you out of the water <laughs> with one of these things that you might not have well, expected. Aged and, in humidity. And you, and you never know because I think more than not for me, it's not really the cheap part of it, but on the shelf and worth the money. You know, I know a lot of folks ask me a lot of questions, a lot of messages. You know, they mainly want to know, is it worth that $50, $60, $70 dollars that you're going to pay? Yeah. And even when it comes to $20, $30, $40, dollars, is it worth what you're going to pay? Because that's any consumer just wants their product, no matter what it is, to be worth what they paid for it, right? So, you know, when I when I think about a particular bourbon or whiskey, I just, you know, I just want it to stand up to what they're charging for. And Jefferson's, let's say, you know, I'm just going to put 90% because, you know, I'm sure there's some out there that's that's pretty decent for the money. But for me, most of their products are not worth what they're charging for. And I don't know how much it takes to get a barrel from the United States to Singapore. No. I don't know the infrastructure of Singapore. I have no idea. The idea is neat. The marketing is cool. The juice. It is. If you it can, is. If you can find it for 50 bucks, maybe 60 bucks. <laughs> If well, it's on closeout for some reason somewhere, not a bad bottle to have. I think it's it's a little thin towards the end. <laughs> that I'm now that I'm trying it more. I will say this though, most of the ocean stuff is about eighty bucks, right? Mm -hmm. And and in my personal opinion, this bottle is better than seventy five percent of the ocean's releases. I could agree with you. On so that one. yeah, you're only eighty ninety bucks apart. So if you're a big fan of the ocean's releases, mm -hmm. this might be right up your alley. Yeah. Right. It, doesn't, it doesn't make me humid drinking it, so that's good. It makes me a little bit warm because it's alcohol. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But yeah. Um, I think for, like, what what would you pay for this? You 50, 60 bucks? Yeah, 50 bucks. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 50 bucks. I think I'm, yeah. I'm with you on that one. Kind of neat what they did here, and I appreciate that, you know, their efforts here. But for me, about 50 bucks. You you drank all of it, so you yeah, must like I, it. You know, I, like I said, I... It's better than I thought it was going to be. When you put that Jefferson's out there trending, I'm like, come on, buddy. Really? Jefferson, you're going, to, you're going to put that on me today? Yeah, I got banned from the card for a while <laughs> after the after the gimmick bottle episode. This is I'm making my big debut back with, with the Jefferson's. Well, you're... <laughs> I didn't completely strike out, though. I don't, I don't think so. No. Nope. I'll say that. Nope. Nope. No, you did not. So, at least we might, have that. Might be on the watch list, but we'll see you next time. I got some good stuff for the next video. I it was fun though. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. And I at least elevated my expectations from to yeah, not so bad. <laughs> That's good. That's what I was going for. <laughs> all right, that's all we got for you today. Uh hope you have a great holiday. You know, it's Labor Day. Enjoy some time with your family and friends. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. See you next time, right down here with Trent and I in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.